Hey guys, it's Carrie. Love the pygmy hippos. Lion. Very occasionally, males will join in the hunting action, particularly if the prey is extremely large, like an elephant or water buffalo. Otherwise, the main job of the male is to protect the pride. Solitary male lions tend to hide in dense vegetation to engage in ambush style hunting. Lions tend to hunt at night and often lurk around waterholes, streams and rivers as those areas are hot spots for prey. They will also scavenge and won't hesitate to steal other predators' kills or eat the leftovers. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Tigers are excellent swimmers and water doesn't act as a barrier to their movement. They can easily cross rivers as wide as 6 to 8 kilometers. When tracking tigers, males, females and cubs can be easily distinguished. The male's paw pad measures up to 14 and a half centimeters across. Females up to nine and a half centimeters. Male cups can be up to 10 centimeters. Siberian tigers also have extra fur on their paws to keep their feet warm. Tiger claws are up to 10 centimeters in length and they have the largest canines of all big cats. Up to seven and a half centimeters. Pygmy hippopotamus is mainly found in Liberia. They live near swamp streams and rivers. You may have noticed the digits of pygmy hippos are more spread out and have less webbing between digits than common hippos. Their eyes are positioned on the sides of the head rather than on top. Their backs are forward sloping, a trait thought to enhance movement through thick vegetation. A feature that they share with their larger relative is the muscular valves on the ears and nose which are capable of closing underwater. Hippopotamus When searching for a mate, the dominant male wanders through a resting or grazing herd smelling each female's posterior end. Once a female in heat is found, the courtship begins. He pushes her towards the water and then pursues her into deeper waters until she becomes frustrated and lashes out and clashes jaws with him. The female hippo is forcibly submerged in the water by the male for most of the mating process. Copulation lasts up to 30 minutes. Males will mate with several females. During mating, the males release a wheezy honking sound to announce mating has occurred. On land, they are able to move at speeds up to 30 kilometers per hour and can maintain these speeds for several hundred meters. In shallow waters, their short legs provide powerful propulsion through the water while their web feet allow them to navigate the shallow river bottoms. The jaws of a hippopotamus are capable of opening up to 150 degrees, showing enormous sharp incisors and canine tusks. Canines can grow to 50 centimeters and
and in sizes to around 40 centimeters, sharpening themselves as they grind their mouths together during grazing. Dominance is usually displayed with yawning, roaring, dung showering and jaw clashing. When approaching new territory, they stop and turn their backside towards the area, lift their rear into the air and release dung and urine. Their tails swing back and forth, scattering the excreta around the unfamiliar boundary. Male hippos often emerge from the water to spread dung along the shoreline and their grazing paths. Juvenile hippos can often be found following dominant males around, smelling and licking their rears. Fighting and defensive displays are usually more intense during the dry season. These displays consist of yawning, jaw and tusk clashing, biting and retreating to resting ponds. This behaviour also happens when they are protecting the herd against predators. Territory size depends greatly on the number of individuals in the herd and the availability of water and vegetation. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.